Hello guys, so on this channel baby steps to need PG we will be discussing one question each day so that uh, you can remember small amounts of information each day and it will ultimately compound uh, when you give the exam uh, so the question for our today is from micro and it's a PYQ from need PG 2024 patient uh, presented with perianal itching the sample collected from the perianal swab shows the following image below what is the likely diagnosis uh, so we will give you uh, 30 seconds uh, to think of the answer and uh, you can pause the video now to uh, answer this yourself first and then listen to the explanation. So um, hope, uh, hopefully you have uh, answered this question. Uh, so uh, this is a very short question but in longer questions you might have to pick out the important keywords. So the key, main keyword here is perianal itching. Uh, and from this only without even seeing the pictures you can answer the question that the answer uh, is enterobius vermicularis uh, vermicularis means vermiform the worm stays in the vermiform appendix uh, which is a part of the large intestine uh, so the worm female worm comes out of the anal opening at night to lay the eggs there which causes the perianal itching and uh, the when the person does this perianal itching, it ultimately leads to auto infection. So it's also one of the organisms causing auto infection. But uh, but if in case the perianal itching is, itching is not mentioned, uh, you will have to look at the pictures also. Uh, so we will still uh, see the pictures. So these were the two pictures given. One for one picture was of the egg and one picture was of the uh, uh, head end of the worm. Uh, the egg here shown are D shaped, which means they are plano convex. Um, and uh, that is the feature of enterobius, enterobius vermicularis X. And the head shown here, the characteristic feature, which is not very visible, it's very light. Uh, here we can see the uh, cervical alley, uh, two folds over the head. That is the uh, characteristic feature of enterobius vermicularis but uh, every time you answer a question you have to see the other options also you can't just uh, jump to one right answer and go to the next question you have to see all the options and rule them out even if you know the answer uh, so the other options uh, the eggs of the worms are very important so we'll see them also uh, this is uh, the egg of H. nana. It's the uh, embryo of H. nana. Uh, it's called the hexacanth embryo uh, because it has um, it has six hooklets here and it has two polar knobs uh, and many yolk granules. This is the hexacanth embryo of cestodes. H. nana is a cestode. This is the uh, egg of Trichuris trichura. Uh, the characteristic feature is it's a barrel shaped egg uh, with two mucus plugs at the end. And this is the egg of Ankylostoma duodenal. Uh, the characteristic feature of this is that it has multiple uh, blastomeres. It has segmentations. Thank you.